Hello everybody, so today I have a curious video and this shows a murray eel and to be precise this is a white-eyed murray eel, Gymnotorax tursoides and this is one of the more common murray eels in the south of Negros Island where I dive and film and I film this with my new favorite lens which is this Inon Bagai wide angle close focus lens and uh, you see this curious effect so you can see the whole little bommy behind the eel and then the you know there are these corals and a few other fish but then the eel actually almost bumped into the camera so how i filmed this i essentially set the camera down on a piece of anchor chain there and then the eel decided uh, the camera is something uh, you know, interesting to check out so it came close and it actually almost went behind the camera at times i had to you know, like here i had to get my fingers away from it because these guys can bite you know they're not gonna take a finger off but it's going to be unpleasant now I think these eels are hilarious and they really remind me like these two Muppets which are on the balcony I think they're called Waldorf and Städtler you know the two old guys who are always cracking jokes how bad the other acts are and so I decided to you know, make an effort at mimicking the face of this eel. So even my own face, of course, looks a little bit funny with this close focus wide angle lens. So, you know, this is my best Murray eel impression. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it, whether, you know, it needs more practicing my Mure eel mimicking but I think I, I did pretty well actually so you know Mure eels are of course fish they are in the family of the Murenide the Mureis and in the order of the Anguliformes of the eels and um, this whole group of fish is not very eager to roam around so what these do they typically hunt at night i've seen them be quite active and you know, out and about at night where i believe they're mainly acting with their olfactory sense with their sense of smelling and you can see these curious uh, tubular nostrils and with these I believe they can detect the orientation of a smell. So this is also something which I think would need uh, more research as far as I know. Nobody has really looked at the physics of smelling with this tubular nostrils. Maybe I'm wrong, please let me know if you know anything about that. Now, during the day, a lot of these eels just stay in crevices and they don't really sleep. You know, they're always active, but they don't roam around. But if you come close, they will check you out. So if you follow my vlog here, you, you know that I have a very high opinion of fish. And there are some fish which have really large brains for their body sizes. And, and you would say that these are really intelligent animals. The moor eels do not belong to that group. So a large murray which might weigh several kilos still has a brain which is less than a gram so they're not very active and olfaction is kind of a slow sense so you know the the environment in terms of how it smells doesn't change very quickly so that doesn't need a very large brain so they are you know I'm, i hate to say it but they're a little bit dumb i don't know what it's doing now jerking around and um, maybe it's it sensed something else in its environment so yeah this eel was really fascinated by my camera and you know as so often in nature videography you cannot get good footage if you're not getting collaboration by the animals which you are filming so you know this of course i'm not an anthropomorphizing i'm, I'm sure the, the 
Eel had no intention of being in a video or anything, but you know, just by chance, it was active and curious when I came along. This is a little concrete mooring block, in case you're wondering, which is about 12 meters deep at that dive site, and it must have had been there for already quite some time because it's it's nicely overgrown with uh, encrusting corals and there are some stack on corals in the back and uh, some sponges. Now, unfortunately, I don't see a lot of big moorie eels in the Philippines because the fact that they are in these crevices and that they can't go anywhere really makes them easy targets for spear fishermen. So this was not in a marine protected area in a sanctuary. So, you know, anybody who knows where this eel is found could easily go down with a spear gun and get it. They are, they're quite fatty, these eels, so they're actually good eating. But then in other places you see this giant moorish, you don't see that in the Philippines. See, here it's, it's coming out and I, I, that was one of the moments when I had to move my fingers to a safer place that they wouldn't end up with um, eel teeth buried in them. Now, there is a super special Best Friends Forever only bonus feature, which is featuring shrimp fish. Now, shrimp fish are in the family of the Centriskide, and these are very distant relatives of seahorses and pipefish. They're in the same family. Uh, I, I'm, I apologize, in the same order. Now, they move around in these schools of probably about a hundred animals and they have this very odd type of locomotion that when they're actively feeding, when they're picking invertebrates off the ground, they are swimming head down and you know they're, they're harvesting. If they want to get away, like in this case from me, they move horizontally like a conventional fish, uh, like a, a regular fish swimming mode. So very interesting fish. I will feature more of them in a future video. So you, you could see this school is now just above me, kind of like the effect with the sun, and they are swimming horizontally. Now, another thing that's just on the same mooring block as where I saw that white-eyed moray, and this is of course a lionfish. Uh, this is in the Philippines, so it's not an invasive species here. It belongs here. I have another video which I just released a few days ago about lionfish and their invasion in the Caribbean, so please check that out. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you again soon.